Hey y'all, it's Molly with Mini Acres and I'm doing another update for my grow room. I have done a lot of up potting, but I just wanted to show y'all a lot has changed since I did my tour just um, like last week. So, and I also got smart and I'm standing on a step stool so I can get really close to the stuff on the top shelf because let me show you, this is my eye level. So I really probably shouldn't put things on the top shelf that need a lot of attention because I can't see it well enough or reach it well enough when I'm trying to water it to not make a mess. Okay, that spearmint I put in water so I could make a ton more roots and I have plans for forcing a friend of mine to let me fill her flower bed up with them. And I up potted these flowers, they look happy. I up potted the comfrey and I had more in there than I realized. Excuse me. Hey. What do you want? Sir? Okay. And these are some of the baby little marshmallow plants. I up-potted them and they seem happier already. I am not even going to deal with this monster. Look at it. Upside down! I don't even care anymore. I'm just, I can't. I can't deal with it forget-me-nots that are looking so healthy and I'm I need to see do those like full sun or shade trying to figure out where I want to put them when I move them out into the garden and then my other marshmallows those a uh, couple of those are going to a new home I don't know if this is lavender or just something that sprouted in the soil but we're gonna hope that I actually got a lavender sprout and uh, see what happens this is big news. So I'm doing microgreens and it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but this side is sweet corn. And I got the idea from the YouTube channel, Life in a Pot. They give me really great ideas. I'm gonna put a link to their channel. You should check them out. And then these are all radishes. And right now it kind of looks scary, but everything just popped up overnight. So we'll keep an eye on that. We're going to skip this shelf because I have not changed anything on this shelf. Everybody here still needs attention, so we're going to move on to the next shelf. I up-potted those tomato plants that I had been rooting, the ones that were broken. I brought in, put them in water, they rooted really well, and now they're in dirt. And. The last spearmint that I had been rooting, it's now in dirt. My little artichokes are up potted until I'm ready to put them out. We're supposed to get three nights this week in the 30s. So I decided to put the kibosh on moving anything else outside until this weekend. I up potted my celery. I think I'm gonna keep that inside just cause I think it'll bolt if I put it outside now. And because I made space, by moving things outside and giving away things, I thought why not start a whole nother tray of stuff. Also, even when I'm trying to be gentle and spray water gently, I spray the dirt onto the wall. It's just, it's ridiculous. I'm so messy. So you can see all the things that I've started more of because I just decided to do it <laughs> and just see what happens. And down here, the lettuce is insane. It's just growing faster than I can cut it. I really need to come in here and cut it some more because I see some of it is touching the lights. But it looks really happy in here. And I'm not sure how long it'll be before it gets too tall that I will not be able to keep it in here under the lights anymore. I'm really not sure how that'll work. But at some point I'm gonna start more seeds for lettuce and grow them inside through the summer. I'm really encouraged by seeing how well these have grown in here to make me feel like I can keep growing lettuce in here for a while. And the onions that are gonna go out, I think I know where I'm gonna put them outside now. And now we're down here in the floor looking at my carrots. I don't know, they seem happy enough. So that's the current state of the grow room and an update on what's going on in here. And now that I'm looking at this, I don't, I don't think I'm going to up-pot these. I think that I'm going to start 
hardening them off in the sun so that maybe this weekend I can get some of them planted out instead of up potting them, just getting them put out in the garden. So that's the current state of the grow room. I think I'm gonna take the washer and dryer out and put in another shelf full of plants. Cause who needs a washer and dryer, right? Bye y'all. <laughs>